Hello childrens how are you hope you people are fine now we are again together with the chapter human intervention in natural phenomena yes that is chapter 17 we have already discussed about the natural resources in our previous chapter chapter number 5 combustion and fossil fuels so natural resources is something found in nature that people can use to meet their needs we have already learned that they are renewable and non renewable renewable resources are regenerated by natural process in a short period of time examples air water sunlight non renewable resources present in nature in a limited quantity and cannot be renewed in a short period of time examples are fossil fuels and coal now if we talk about the forest forest are valuable natural resource forest are beneficial to human beings and the environment they benefits us in many ways forest provide habitat to a large number of animals birds and insects as you know oxygen is very essential for living beings trees release oxygen which is needed for survival they also absorb carbon dioxide released by animals thus trees help to maintain a balance of these gases we obtain so many useful products such as timber gum paper medicines from forest if we talk about the environments the roots of trees help to hold the soil in place preventing soil erosion and landslides trees also are the sources of rain dead plant and trees decompose to form humus which help in maintaining soil fertility as we know that forest are useful to us so our first priority is to save forest to save trees but with the increase in human population there have been ever rising demands for converting forest into residential and agriculture areas as a result lots of trees are being felled and forest are being cleared so deforestation is the main cause of destruction of forest we have already discussed about the deforestation in class 7 in simple words if we say large scale of felling trees is called deforestation or we can say the continual degradation of forest due to natural or human related causes is known as deforestation major causes of deforestation are commercial logging rapid urbanization agriculture mining harvesting firewood now we discuss about the causes in details first is commercial logging forests are often logged for timber which is used in constructions furniture and paper manufacture second cause of deforestation is rapid urbanization rapid urbanization has led to increase clearing natural forest and illegal encroachment on forest land for human settlements third cause is for agriculture as the population increasing the requirement of food is also increasing forest land is often cleared of trees to make space for the cultivation of profitable crops such as palm coffee and cocoa which are in high demands the major cause is mining certain methods used to mine for minerals such as open cast mining are extremely damaging to the environment and for firewood trees are also cutting wood is still used as a fuel for cooking and for heating homes in rural of developing countries 
more percent people living in villages depend on firewood deforestation may have many adverse effects on the environment including human beings the roots of trees hold the soil together therefore the loss of forest will cause soil erosion gradual erosion can cause the soil to lose its fertility leading to desertification as we know that forests provide homes to many living organisms their loss will result in the destruction of the natural habitat of many plants animals and birds we know that trees balance the carbon dioxide and oxygen in the atmosphere the felling of trees will result in the imbalance of carbon dioxide and oxygen in the atmosphere and increase in the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere will cause global warming and climatic changes plants also play a major role in maintaining the moisture contents of the atmosphere deforestation will therefore result in the atmosphere getting drier hence leading to the reduced rainfall we have already discussed about the forest benefits of forest deforestation causes of deforestation impact of deforestation now the important step to how to conserve our forest what is conservation of forest that is the practice of planting and maintaining forested area for the benefit and sustainability of future generation some practices to conserve our forest are that trees should be planted on a large scale on available land the large scale planting of sapling is called afforestation when this is done on deforested land it is called reforestation more forest reserves and botanical garden should be established awareness programs could be conducted by school children and various organization to promote the need to use our forest resources especially print and television advertisement are also an effective way in our second module we discuss about the fossil fuel and different energy